Hello again, Pietro here. Thanks for clicking on by. So the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS. That is a horrible name, oh boy. Uh, why don't just the TicWatch 3 Pro? Or it should have been the TicWatch 4, right? Or something big coming out later this year? The other problem I have, why did you not write a bigger check to Google to get Wear OS 3? Anyway. Sorry, I just had to get that off my chest. Uh, the Tick Watch has Essential Mode and it has Smart Mode. The Smart Mode is what you're used to if you have an Apple Watch. Essential Mode is what you're used to if you have an Amazon Kindle. Let me show you. Here we go. This watch is unique for many reasons. One, it has two screens, model WH. 2018. Does that mean from 2018? Anyway, Shadow Black only comes in one color. And yeah, this comes with a charging block manual, and that's about it. It comes with a black watch band. I didn't like it. I swapped it out for this watch band that was released last year. And more recently, I got a little burn in. You can really see it when I turn on smart mode. One person commented that they think maybe a component overheated inside the watch. It has been dropped. I don't do those kind of tests on my channel. If you view, yeah, you'll test. Anyway, I've contact support, I'll let you know. So this is day 16 with this watch. So now we're in essential mode. And let me show you what essential mode is about. Basically, this is what you get. You get the time, you get the date, you get heart rate, sleep monitoring, step count, backlight, and that's it. What I wanna test is alarms. If we go into the alarms, there we go, alarm. So we're gonna do a new alarm. My 12 o'clock already went off. And it's kinda of cool, you know, you just kinda of get this turn thing. So we're gonna set alarm for three o'clock on the nose. Click, click, click. There we go, one time, done. So now we have an alarm set. I wanna see if that alarm will transfer from smart mode into essential mode. To get to essential mode, one, you can run the battery down really, really low and it'll automatically go in. Two, you can just swipe down from the watch face, uh, go to settings, scroll all the way down, go to system, essential mode, and then it's gonna warn you Essential mode, greatly extends your battery life. Press the power to get out, click that button, boom, you're in essential mode. Or you can actually schedule it. So if you go to the essential mode app, the little lightning bolt, and now you're in essential mode, you can switch it right here. It's warning me that I'm at 20%. If I swipe to the right, auto switch by battery. So one, battery goes low, it switches. Two, you can manually go in. Three, you can auto do it by timer. The auto enter, so we just click that and it would auto enter from 2330 and then auto exit by 0630 if we want that. But I, I don't want that. I actually want to track my SBO2. So SBO2 does not work in essential mode. Depending on how you wear your tick watch, if you don't need smart mode five hours of the day or maybe you actually want to put it into essential mode at night to save battery, you can do that through the essential mode. They did not have that feature last year when I touched it, tested the tick watch, and it's really cool. So you can auto enter by a time and auto exit by a time. They don't have it where you can have it different days, so a week schedule versus a weekend schedule, but I could see them adding that soon. And also new to essential mode is the backlight. So now we can scroll down, backlight color, so again, to select your back, backlight color, go to your home screen, click that top button, go to essential mode, and then immediately you're gonna be here, swipe to the right, scroll down, backlight color, and you have all these choices, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 12 plus three is 15. Yeah, 18 reasons to buy this watch. So the white one's pretty cool. I really like orange because, you know, Thanksgiving, pumpkin season, October. The white's pretty cool. So now that's selected. And then what we want to do next is do the tilt to wake. So we actually want to go back to that and then tilt to light up backlight. Because if I press the button, 
it's going to exit essential mode and go right back into smart mode. So now it's in essential mode, and if I just tilt my wrist, there's that white color. So now we can change that by again going back into essential mode. I wish that these scrolled, that would be so awesome, but they don't. Backlight color, and now we have the pink. Here's the pink backlight. Whoa, that is bright. I turned off the studio lights. At least I think it's pink. I, I haven't been able to find like a palette chart. Hmm. And that one was stone. Next. Okay, so we've done the white, and then I guess that one's kind of a stone. We'll try the blue one. Okay, here's color number three. Whoa, that is kind of an aqua blue. I like it. Now we'll test this darker blue. Nice. If you're a BYU Cougar fan, it's almost like a royal blue. Yeah. So this would be the fifth color, another shade of blue. That one right there. Color number five. Hmm, really close to the other one. I wish they had the names on them. That would be helpful. Here's color number six. That one right there. So you can see the check mark better when I move it off the little burn-in spot. And color number six. Hmm, a little bit of purple in there, I think. Just a little bit. And at night, man, does this really brighten the room. Color number seven. We're gonna try what looks to be purple. The colors look a little different on screen versus off screen, but here goes color seven. Oh, definitely more purple. Viola, however you want to say it. I like this one too. I was getting confused with all the colors, so I had to make a uh, list here on my remarkable tablet. So we'll go back in, backlight colors. Purple was color seven, and then this is kind of a green color. So again, color number eight, kind of a greenish blue. Color nine, this other shade of green, which I call light green. Sure, we'll go with that. And color nine, that blue color. Color 10, another shade of bluish green. Yeah, I like that one, almost like a sky blue. And again, when you're in essential mode just for the display, if you press a button, it quickly goes, turns on the AMOLED, AMOLED screen, smart mode, and then it quickly times out after 10 seconds. Boom, huge battery saver. It is displaying the seconds there. You can't quite see it underneath the burn-in, but and the battery, but not in percentage. And then if you have tilt to wake on, it would tilt to wake like that. And then if you can, you can quickly go to your notifications as well. So it wakes and switches between that temporary essential mode and smart mode really quickly to save battery life. And again, it's, it's really just turning on that e-ink or electronic ink display just for a brief second. Some slight ghosting, if you saw that through the camera, just a little bit. Color 11 that shade of blue, your 11th choice. A little brighter than the last one. Subtle changes, I know. Time for the power color of red. Okay, you ready for this? Boom, whoa! Kind of a Darth Vader, a little, little, too, little too bright and cherry. Needs to be a little darker if you're gonna be Darth Vader, but very nice red color, and at night, Woo. Outside in the sun, you don't see these as much, but they're still visible, especially at dawn or at dusk. Okay, 12 down, six to go. Color number 13, kind of this soft, washed out yellow, we'll say. Soft yellow, as I call it. Almost looks kind of greenish. This next one's really confusing. I'm calling it kind of a khaki color. You can decide for yourself. So what color do you think that is? Is that kind of khaki? Desert sand, maybe? Hey Google, turn off my lights. Yeah, kind of a desert sand. We'll call it Dune. Yes, after the movie. Done. Review within a review within a review. Yeah. So I'm filming this video with the 
Samsung Galaxy Flip 3, Z Flip 3, Z Flip 3, whatever you call it, and it warned me right at four minutes, you know, limit your movies to five minutes because it's gonna overheat. Now it's cooled down a little bit because I had to get my other camera ready. It was at 105, 89, nope, 98. I was filming a video last week and this phone shot up to 112 degrees. I mean, it was just hot to the touch. So I had to pause and let it cool down. Too hot to handle. And in case you're wondering, no, I do not recommend buying the Z Flip 3. It is not for everyone. So now we can switch from the color Dune to warm yellow. Let's take a look at that. And right next to Dune is a nice bright yellow. We'll call this one warm yellow. That's what I've named it. Woo, that is bright on screen. Let me get a little farther away from my camera. I like it. Option 16 for your background color, orange or orange. Arancione, as some people call it. Now, if you notice, do you see that flicker? The auto brightness is a little wonky, if I can use that word. I feel it's wonky because sometimes it kind of brightens for no reason, even though you haven't made any light changes. Very different from the warm yellow. And who doesn't like orange? After all, it is the true color of the sun. And one last time for orange, for all those sun lovers like Apollo. You can't control how long that background light stays on, by the way. There's not a setting for that. Two more to go. Now we can try the color rose. Some may call it pink. I'm calling it rose. And the last color choice. Can you guess what it is? Number 18, kind of this light purple color. So 18 different color options when it times out, goes into essential mode, and it's at night or you're working a dark place during the day, and you get that wonderful backlight. Come to think of it, there's not an option to have it stay on, or it'd be fun if you could programmatically tell the tick watch, hey, just cycle between all 18 of these colors for me. It doesn't do that. But there you go, we went through all 18. Done. I keep getting questions on this. This is my remarkable tablet that I've been testing for almost a full year now. Unbox this on November 18th. I like it a lot. And I like the tick watch as well. I just want my entire screen back. Mobvoi, if you just happen to be watching this, please use a better nomenclature for your next and future watches. If, if you'd like to ask me, I'm happy to give my feedback. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. I know there's a lot of channels that review watches, but hopefully my decades of experience as a QA engineer provide a unique perspective. Do I recommend this watch? I can't yet because I don't know how the support is. Uh, one thing I test on my gadgets is the support and I've contacted support. I'm still waiting still waiting for a response from TickWatch to see what they're gonna do to fix my screen. I'll keep you informed. <laughs> and yes, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. See you real soon. Goodbye.